Welcome to the Introduction to Geographic Information Systems and Science Lecture Series developed by the Quinney College of Natural Resources at Utah State University. In this short example, we'll review the use of the Geoprocessing Clip Tool available in ArcGIS. It's often useful when dealing with geospatial data sets and analysis to clip your data down to your area of interest. This reduces processing time, data storage, and makes your data easier to read and visualize. The most common geoprocessing tools in ArcGIS are available through the ArcGIS Geoprocessing drop-down window at the top of your screen. If you click the Geoprocessing drop-down, you'll see a number of different tools including Buffer, Clip, Intersect, Union, Merge, and Dissolve. These are often the most used tools in your toolbox. In this case, we'll select Clip and look at the tool help that tells us what the Clip tool does. So Clip extracts input features that overlay some Clip feature. Simply put, the Clip tool allows you to subset or cookie cutter out an area of interest. In the diagram here, you can see the input, a Clip feature, or your cookie cutter, and what your output would resemble. In this case, we're going to clip Utah roads. You can see the Utah road data layer downloaded from the Utah AGRC to the Cache County boundary which is in the far northern portion of the state. Now you can see if we're conducting only analyses within the Cache County boundary one would want to clip the roads so that you don't have extraneous data outside of your area of interest. So we'll select the clip tool. Note that we have four inputs. If we click here in our input features Notice in our tool help that it directs us to load the features that will be clipped. In this case, we wish to clip our roads. Under our clip features, we'll input our subset area or our cookie cutter. Lastly, we'll provide an output directory for the file to be written to. XY tolerance is an optional input and may be left blank. Once you have your required features input, you can select OK and we'll wait for the geoprocessing clip to execute. Once the clip is completed, we can see that we now only have those roads within the Cache County boundary that we're interested in. This process may be conducted on any vector data set assuming that the projections and coordinate systems are the same and they're spatially coincident with one another. 